Set. Begin. Soldiers from 1st Armored Division's 4th Brigade Combat Team executed a two-day test of professional development and senior leadership training in Iraq. After months of preparation, soldiers demonstrated their skill competencies in a variety of boards and PT tests. Sergeant Audie Murphy Club candidates displayed their technical knowledge in hopes to join an elite status of NCOs. Sergeant First Class Sean O'Connor talks about how his preparation helped him grow. Just by studying for the board, I learned a lot about myself, a lot about Army leadership, what's expected of me at all levels of leadership, from team leader all the way up to platoon sergeant. I know my platoon now, they've, they've seen what I can accomplish as a platoon sergeant, and they know that there is no, there's no limit as far as rank goes, as who goes to boards, and, and they see the benefits of, of putting yourself out there for your senior leaders to see. A first sergeant's conference headlined the events this week, where senior NCOs gathered to refocus on skills in a deployed environment. Over 35 first sergeants from different companies, troops, and batteries shared knowledge in working groups before briefing each other in lessons learned. Again, it's part of slowing down and giving back, and more importantly, what you take from here and how you affect the organization. It's not only about ISF, it's not only about doing the combat mission stuff, it's about restocking, it's about coaching, teaching, mentoring, training, and sustaining ourselves. Go! Go! Following the conference, the boards, and the evaluations, the Highlanders took time to recognize those who achieved. <laughs> Reporting for the 4th Brigade Combat Team, I'm Army Sergeant Jared Simpkins.